Hello everyone, welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. In this video, we will introduce the ways to operate the Editor Camera. Enter the Editor, open the prepared map, and you can see a part with a picture in the center of the scene. At this point, the camera is far from the part. We cannot see what the picture on the part is, you need to pull the camera into the vicinity of the part. So how do we operate it? We can press down the mouse wheel, and move the mouse, drag the camera to a suitable location. Then scroll the mouse wheel, and zoom the camera into where the part is. We can also use the WASDQE, these six keys to move the camera near the part. Here let's see, what these six keys do. Press the W key to move the camera forward, and press the S key to move the camera back. Press the A key to move the camera left, and press the D key to move the camera right. Press the Q key to move the camera down, and press the E key to move the camera up. When moving the camera, if you feel that the speed of the camera movement is too slow, you can adjust the speed of the camera movement by clicking on the camera moving speed button in the scene. For example, let's set the movement speed to 12 to see the effect. In addition to the above methods, we have another convenient operation, to move the camera quickly to the vicinity of the part. Move the mouse over the part, then click the left mouse button to select the part. Then press the F key on the keyboard to move the camera directly to the vicinity of the part. After completing the move operation, you can see that the picture in the camera is still tilted, we need to adjust the angle of the camera. Move the mouse to the scene, hold down the right mouse button, and move the mouse to rotate the camera angle. Or you can use the direction indicator in the scene to adjust the angle of the camera. The direction indicator has a number of clickable areas, each of which represents a different camera view. Click on any one area, the camera will rotate to the corresponding perspective of the area, you can give it a try yourself. In addition to adjusting the camera area in the direction indicator, you can see that there is also a coordinate system. In the editor, we will use the coordinate system to describe the position of a part in the scene. The editor has two coordinate systems, a world coordinate system and an object coordinate system. The world coordinate system is used in the direction indicator. The world coordinate system is similar to the southeast and northwest in real life, its orientation is not affected by other factors and change. In the scene view, there is a coordinate switch button, which we use to switch the currently used coordinate system. Click the coordinate switch button to switch the current coordinate system to the world coordinate system. Next, select any part in the scene and tilt it then click the move button. You can see that the arrows representing the axes do not change due to the tilt of the part. But the object coordinate system is different. The object coordinate system is similar to our perception of front and back, when your orientation changes, your front and back, etc. will also change. Click the coordinate switch button to switch the current coordinate system to the object coordinate system. You can see that the arrows representing the axes rotate to the corresponding angle as the part is tilted. Click the run button to enter the run mode. Right now, the character is spawned in a position far away from the part, we need to control the character to walk near the part. Here we have two ways to control the character movement. One is to use the keyboard WASC4 keys to control the character movement. The other is to use the mouse to drag the virtual joystick on the screen to control the character movement. When the character encounters obstacles, you need to make the character jump. You can choose to press the space bar on the keyboard to make the character jump. You can also use the mouse to click on the jump button at the bottom right corner of the screen to make the character jump. When the character's perspective is blocked by the wall in front of us, we need to rotate the screen camera to adjust the perspective. Move the mouse to the screen, press and hold the left or right mouse button, then drag the mouse to adjust the perspective. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, 
you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.